Hi, everyone, and welcome to Wednesday evening prayer time. This is a chance to take a deep breath, to focus our attention on God, to um, meet with him and allow God to um, give us space to reflect and to realign our own perspectives, our own lives around what God would have us focus on. I find these spaces of time with God help me to remember uh, who God is and who God calls me to be. Sometimes that means that I need to confess some um, opportunities that I missed or some ways that I have acted uh, that weren't um, the way that God would call me to be. And other times it calls me to be really grateful and to focus on the next part of my week in a different way. So tonight as I was contemplating what prayer practice that we could engage in together, I was thinking about the way that right this season of life has caused us all to experience divisiveness. There is so much information coming at us right now from a bunch of competing different sources, and we all have friends and family members who are um, in one camp or another, and I think that we probably all have heard one group being um, villainized by another group. And it just feels like this is a, a hotbed for us to have differing opinions and to um, really get anxious with each other and really be um, argumentative and angry and frustrated. And so I, I thought that it might be wise for us to practice praying for the people with whom we disagree. And it might be about COVID restrictions, or um, it might be about the way that a project should be completed in our workplace, or it might be <clears throat> about how to go about parenting uh, our children, or it could be um, just a, a disagreements around how to engage with um, a certain topic. So th there are a lot of different ways that we disagree with one another. And um, while it seems easier, at least for me, <laughs> to pray for those who I can agree with, um, I can agree with you about praying for healing for someone or agree with you about praying for, for peace in the world. But sometimes it's hard. Um, it's harder, at least for me, to pray for the people that um, I disagree with. So the Bible calls us to love our enemies. And um, when I read that sentence, honestly, I sometimes think, I don't really have enemies. There isn't anyone who's out to get me, who I feel is uh, like David experienced with Saul, who is, is trying to take my life. Um, but we all have those relationships where we have disagreement, discord, where we throw our hands up and say, oh, I don't understand how they came to that conclusion. Um, it's just, they're not thinking, whatever. And it's in those moments where I realize that there are individuals that I treat like enemies. So um, tonight, we're going to pray for the people that we disagree with. And one br really brief caveat, um, there, there are situations um, where this love your enemies um, command has been twisted around to make it feel as though those who are victims of injustice or victims of abuse should love their abusers or those people who have um, perpetuated injustice and tolerate that abuse or injustice. And I, I want to say from the beginning that that isn't um, what I'm saying at all. We can stand for justice uh, stand up and speak for justice. Um, we can uh, make decisions that that cause us to leave relationships that are unhealthy and um, cause us pain and hurt, while at the same time praying for those who um, are our enemies. So while we won't get into that as much this evening, I'm thinking more about disagreements in this particular prayer practice. I just wanted to be clear about that at the beginning. Uh, so would you uh, just give, our, give yourself a moment to take a deep breath? <sighs> Remember that you are in the presence of God right now. 
Allow your mind to slow down. Allow the the to-do list and the rehearsal of things that needs to happen to quiet. Close your eyes if that will help you to focus. And recall that God is with us as we pray. We pray, Holy Spirit, guide us in our time together. Lord, we ask you to help us to see what you see. Open our eyes. Lead us as we pray together during this time, Lord. In the next few moments, I invite invite you to think through your day or your week. And we first need to acknowledge the situations where there are disagreements. Consider the interactions that cause frustration or anger. Remember that our enemies aren't just those who are um, out to get us, uh, to threaten our lives, but are also those people whose opinions or action differ from ours and in some way threaten something that we hold dear. Those are the ones that we treat as enemies. And when you think about that, who comes to your mind? What relationship? This season seems to present many opportunities for division. So maybe it's a friend that posted something on social media that made your heart race. Maybe it's someone in your own family, a spouse, a parent, a friend, or a child, someone that you've argued with about whether or not um, certain precautions were necessary. Maybe it's a family member that you spoke with on the phone or online who disagrees with you regarding politics. Maybe it's a coworker that believes you should go one way in a project and you think that's foolish. Consider what relationships come to mind, where there are different expectations and different opinions. Imagine the person that comes to your mind. And if nothing pops up right now, that's okay. Allow God to point out to you those that you see as other, as different from you during this week so that you can be in prayer for them. Now imagine that person. Imagine them in the hands of God. I'll admit that my temptation in this moment is to pray something like, Dear God, help this person see things the right way like I do. I might say it less bluntly, but that's usually kind of where I want to go with my prayers. But instead, I um, I invite you to ask God to help you to see that person the way that God does. Ask God to help us to be able to love this person. It might not mean we agree that the that the specific disagreement gets resolved, but that we're willing to see this person, um, their humanity, to see them as one created in God's image. So Lord, we pray, loving God, open our eyes. Help us to see the person that springs to our mind who we could easily simplify or flatten to a specific issue. Help us to see them as you see them. God, I confess that it is our tendency as humans to make simple distinctions, to lump people that see life differently or an issue differently than we do into the wrong category and to see our opinion as right and more complex and nuanced than theirs. God, show us what we might have missed so that we can understand and hopefully work toward the reconciliation that would bring life in this relationship.
I acknowledge that this step for me sometimes takes time. I need to pray a prayer like that many times or to spend some time in silence reflecting on that. And as the Holy Spirit softens our hearts, we want to move to the next step, which is to pray for this enemy that we bring before God, this person with whom we disagree that we see as different or other. And we first will pray for thanksgiving, and then we will pray for God's blessing in the life of this other person. Would you pray with me? God, I thank you. I thank you for the person that springs to my mind. I know that you love each one of us, including this person with whom I struggle. Lord, I confess that I want to be right and I just simply want the other person to be wrong. It seems easier that way. Um, if that could be true, life would be so easily black and white. But Lord, I am grateful for the situations like this that remind me of my own brokenness. Lord, I'm reminded of my of the way that these situation reminds us of our own stubbornness, our fear, our need to be right, even our hatred, Lord. And while seeing this inside of myself is not entirely pleasant, I'm grateful that through these sorts of situations and a million relationships like it, God, you will help me grow. You will help me grow into the person that you call me to be, one who loves others even in the midst of disagreement. Lord, I lift up to you the person that came to my mind today. I pray that they would know you, that they would flourish and experience your blessing. All of us are in desperate need of what only you can give God. I pray that you would meet these people that we lift to you today in their individual experiences as they finish their day today, as they go to sleep and as they wake up in the morning and start the next fresh new day. I lift them to you in the way that we, each one of us, have experienced your patient and merciful and generous love. Lord, we pray that these people that we think of individually would experience that kind of love from you as well. In your love, Lord, we know that all things are made new. We pray that you would work in them as you are work currently working in us. Lord, some of the disagreements are places where your reconciliation is the only thing that will heal us. Lord, we pray for that. Open our eyes to the ways that we can be different in this relationship. That we can listen, really listen. Help us to be patient with ourselves and with others. So that we might all experience your blessing. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So I encourage you to think through your week. Think about the relationships that you're in, the conversations you might want to avoid, the differences of opinion that make you frustrated, fearful, um, dismissive even, the things that you want to just shove to the side and say, well, that's just wrong. Maybe those are opportunities for us to love someone who thinks differently than we do. And again, it doesn't mean that we're going to agree. We may hold very different opinions at the end of the day. But I think that God would be honored if we see each other as humans, that we endeavor to hear where the other person is coming from, and to, to lift up those who have different opinions, um, even the wrong ones. Um, if we can pray uh, for, if David can pray for Saul, uh, we can pray for those that we disagree with. So I commend this practice to you. I pray that you will continue in it to continue to struggle with God and, and with, um, with the different opinions that are coming your way this week.
and continue to lift up those that we encounter to God as we continue on in our Thursday, our Friday, our Saturday, and on and on. Go into the rest of the week knowing that you are loved and cared for and knowing that God sees each one of these situations and is standing with you in them.